welcome back to my channel, Milan Garcon, and I'm your girl, Milan Garcon. <sighs> hey y'all, this has been quite, uh, um, quite a past few days. I have just been very in my head about stuff, and it's it's valid, it's warranted. I I have the right to feel how I feel. And I'm not going to say much on the topic because I'm just not really ready to talk about it. But it has really affected me and probably, like, changed a part of me for hopefully not forever. But either way, um, I am doing my best not to dwell in it. It was definitely a traumatic experience, um, to say the least. I'm still processing it. I'm still understanding it. I'm still... I'm still like fathoming it. I'm still thinking about it, replaying it. It's just, it's, 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 it's a lot right now, but every day I'm finding like small, well, not every day. Today was the first day in the past couple of days that I've just been able to like find small things to smile about. And I just kind of notice myself smiling and I kind of gag because I'm like, what do I have to smile about? What do I have to be happy about? What do I have to be grateful for? Like, bitch, you suck. And I'm just like, hold on, wait, no. Um, you, you're allowed to be a happy individual. Like, you don't have to dwell in things that have happened to you or things that you've experienced or gone through or are dealing with. You know, there could be a duality of emotions. Um, and I'm trying to, I'm trying to keep myself on this upward path of feelings and moods and, and positive affirmations and, you know, not letting my inner saboteur take over and tell me all these mean and nasty things um, about myself and just um, not, not being my own worst enemy right now. Really love on myself and, 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 and pour back into myself because this was just a huge wake-up call, I think, and I'm definitely going to be getting therapy. I'm, like, literally, as soon as I get done taking this small shot today, that's what I'm opening up my laptop to do. My laptop is right over there on my dresser right there. That's what I'm opening up to do today. Um, I'm also going to get this video out to you guys today because I, 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 it's time to change my habits, baby. It's time to boss up. It's time to really be the girl that I know that I am, that other people know I am, but it's time to actively know it and be it and, and 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 give it no shade like it's time to stand on business milan you bitch it's time to stand on business so let there be a message to everybody out there stand on motherfucking business do not play do not play do not play with that being said we're gonna go ahead and get started i'm gonna clean my arm off but um i'm just i'm just very i'm 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 grateful. To, I'm grateful for today because today has shown me that I'm not gonna be stuck in this place forever. Even though I've had plenty of moments today where you know I almost broke down. Um, I'm at work trying not to cry, and it's just like very difficult when you can't really talk about what's wrong with you. And then especially at a place like work, girl, like that's just not the time and place. Like we're there to do a job, not there to be using my coworkers as free therapist or whatever. And I personally don't like knowing my coworkers' personal business. And yeah, so I return the same respect. I don't like them knowing my business either. So yeah, I, you know, found a few reasons to just naturally smile. When a smile came across my face, I naturally wanted to like stop it and be like, no, you're not allowed to smile. You're supposed to be angry. You're supposed to be sad. You're supposed to like feel bad about yourself. And I was just like, you have to make a choice if you are going to work to 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 get back to you, to get back to yourself, to better yourself, to continue to boss up on yourself and on everybody out here and this motherfucker keep foot on. Like, it's you're going to have, in, 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 at that point, I didn't even know if it was going to be today, but I'm like, you, you have a choice, just so that you know, to some, to at some degree, at some point, was that an ant? The ants have been carrying. And I just had my windows open all day. I did not know that I had my windows open when I went to work. Um, but I'm glad I came home before it started raining because I would have gagged. Because I have shoes by my window. Either way, I digress. I'm going to start taking this moonshot. But um, I giggled when my mom said a funny thing on the phone. It was like, 
It was just nice to get out of my head. I went, oh, hold on. I went to the water yesterday. I walked to the water. We live not far from, you know, an actual ocean. And I just cried and I thought, and I thought about a lot of the things that, you know, have been on my mind and all of the, all of the scenes that are replaying in my mind and all of these things. And I'm just like, Am I freaking out? Am I, oh, it's a piece of hair. A piece of my hair is in my arm. I'm like, no, 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 no. It's something on me. It's something on me. This syringe has such little amount in here. I'm not using this. But basically, you know, today I found reasons to smile. And that felt freaking amazing. And... I came home, I wrote on my journal again. Oh, yeah, no, I was telling you I went to the water yesterday, but, you know, I, was, I, I told myself, well, I have to start writing in my journal again. So I wrote out stuff yesterday, then I ate some food, got in the shower, and I walked to the water. I thought about a lot. I allowed myself to think all of the thoughts, the, all of the bad thoughts. And I literally, I was over the banister of, like, the little thing that makes it so you can't just, like, fall into the water. And girl, I was just letting my tears drop into the water. It was so, the release was amazing. And I just let all of the feelings, all of the thoughts, all of the, all of that energy that came along with everything go. I just let it go away with the current. So, you know, I'm sure, I'm, I'm sure I'm still going to have moments of, you know, not feeling my best. But I'm still here. I'm still here reclaiming my time and standing on business. Because at the end of the day, the day got to end. So I am going to, you know, go with that. I'm going to take Gloverless advice. And I'm going to let the day end on that. It has to, at some, at the end of the day, the day got to end. No shade. She ate that. Why would it ever be this many bubbles in this thing? Like, why? That's ridiculous. get these bubbles out in this yes yes you too baby you gotta go too Yeah, so let me just see all the stuff I'm grateful for. I'm grateful for my mom. I'm grateful for Mermaid's mom. I'm grateful for, you know, my sisters, Julie and Mermaid. I'm grateful for my best friends um, from back home. And, you know, my 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 bio sister, my dad, my stepmom. I'm grateful for, you know, my family being supportive of me and, you know, my transness and you know, all that it takes and all of the work that we're all doing. I appreciate ballroom. I appreciate you know, my, my weekend getaway trip this weekend when I'm going to Houston because I get to get away, I get to relax, I get to not have any reminders or any triggers around me and just be with good people and be able to relax and just regroup and come back with hopefully a whole new mindset and, and not a whole new mindset like, oh, still I got her groove back, but yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? Just get away, a, a real chance to get away. So um, I'm excited about that. I'm grateful for those things. I am grateful to have my peace of mind. I'm grateful to, you know, have you all here, my audience and all of that. 
And I'm grateful for my platforms that I work for. I'm grateful for my degree. I'm just grateful for so much. I'm grateful for the opportunities that I've been given and excelled in. And hold on, I gotta get this bubble out. We focus on real quick. Hold on. Yes. All right. Now, let me focus real quick while we do this. Mm. Ouch. Ow. Oh, okay. That's done. That's done. Put that in that box. Put this in that box. Boom, bada, bam. Because y'all had got on me about putting them needles in the trash can when I had to do my moan shot at work. And I totally agree with y'all, but I ain't have no, I ain't had no other options, honey. Honey bunches of, of um, oats. They be like, but we only said something because you said I know. And I, that don't mean I'm right, but also... I also said everyone is not going to have the same access and you won't have the same access every time. But um, with all of that being said, you know, this is just a big season of of, of, of learning, growth. And y'all you know I'm in the year of 29. So, you know, it's just, it's just, I was back up for change, back up for growth, back up for, you know, something to happen. And, you know, it did. And it wasn't what I expected at all. <laughs> but it has definitely made a lot of things it's making a lot of things kind of become clearer to me. And that is, it's time to give a fuck about you. It's time to love you. It's time to take care of you. It's time to boss up on you. Like, I need to boss up on myself. Like, I need to gag myself this year. Like, going into 30, I need to be like, bitch, I'm finna carry. Because I'm carrying. Right. Like, yeah, like, everything that I say I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make the proper plans. I'm not gonna try to take a million things on at once and then not complete any of them and then be in this feeling of incompletion and I can't get things done and that nothing is working for me because I'm just not giving myself a fucking fair shot. I'm not giving myself a fair shot to succeed when I try to approach all of these things at the same time in a manic mode and then try to do them in a logical way. That's not gonna work, honey. So... Um, really getting back to me, but then also building the new me. And I'm really excited for that. And I'm really excited to go to Houston this weekend. So y'all can look forward to that vlog. I'm going to vlog it. I'm also going to write out a list in my phone of like a shot list of things that I have to shoot every day. So every day I have to shoot when I wake up. Every day I have to shoot what I eat for breakfast or what I drink for um in the morning. I have to shoot after I do my um, skincare and one of those days I need to do my skincare on camera, just a little bit of it. I need to do my, a little bit of my makeup on camera one day and I need to do some of my hair on camera one day. Um, I'm not going to do it every single day. I will choose today's like one day I'll wake up and I'm like, okay, I feel like doing the skincare when I talk to y'all while I get ready. And then I have to show you all every place that I go to and at least traveling to a few of those places. So that is my goal. And when, whenever I leave the house to come back, like, because we got an Airbnb. That is my goal. So, so my goal is to at least have 10 silent clips from each day. And I'm pretty sure that I can do that. I, kn I know that I can do that. And I'm going to do that. So, look out for that vlog. I thank y'all so much for watching. It's been real and it's been fun. And hopefully, I am a, a lot more joyous and happy in the next one. Mwah.